Star World East from Super Mario Advance 4. So, yeah, I'm just gonna start doing that. Oh, crap. Um, I safe it in the middle of this level, so I'm just gonna frickin' beat it again, because I'm near the end anyway. Ow. It's like really low. Gotta put it louder. Dang, I almost got the max coins. I wonder what happened. Boom. Oh wait, I forgot the full screen. No. I won't get freaking beaten by boom boom. Da 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 Oh wait, that's my... Yeah, my sound's on. Yeah, everything's working. Do 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 Now let's beat magical note blocks again later. Oh yeah, I was stuck on the old switcheroo level. Luigi Mario Luigi. Also known as the name of my freaking Switch console in the settings menu. Freaking Switch or I just called it because it's funny. Got some power ups first. Huh? I wonder why that's there. That's kind of saucy. This reminds me of my P-Switch level I made once, in Mario Maker 1 almost. Where it was like a P-Switch block maze. Oh yeah, you need this turnip to get that big coin. Okay, that's a different safe state I made while I was doing Mario Maker stuff. I suppose. <laughs> 
Though I don't really remember what it was like. It's been years. Bro, Luigi's so slow. Okay. Here. Okay, now we're here. Don't know really where this goes, but... Bro, am I near the end already? Apparently so. Don't really understand this level, but it's fine. What if I just ran up there? Damn, I, I, I like, I almost have it. Luigi is like just short of reaching that. Also, I'm gonna be right back real quick. I forgot I wanted to wear a particular shirt. So, yeah. I feel like my lighting's a little off today. Like a little bit. Hmm. Okay, well, I could always make it brighter. There. That looks okay, I think. Okay, sorry. Just just gotta play with it a bit. Ugh. Okay. I hate looking at these bright lights, but... Gotta do what I gotta do. You know. Okay, I think that's adequate enough. Ah, my... Th th there. Okay, be right back real quick. Just gonna throw up the screen. And I'm back. So, yeah. Got a Mario shirt on. Oh, I forget what this is. Oh. I forgot they have, like, unique mini games here, too. Bro, this is this Mario 2. Bro, that is, that is bull. And all that just to get a mushroom. What the heck, man. Wait, there's nothing... Stopping me from just playing it over and over. Oh! Why is it red? Why is the Tanuki suit red? I mean, what if it's like a special suit? Imagine it's just in the same spot every time. Damn it. No. That's not how it works. Go, Luigi. Yeah, just a raccoon leaf. Maybe I should save the points for additional mini games. Hmm. 
Wait, wait a minute. No, there's no- bruh, it's like always the same one twice. Hmm. Eh, it's kinda... I think I'm good now. Thanks, Toad. You're a real trooper. Oh man, I feel like my the lighting setup is just wrong today. Yeah, that that looks fine. I still gotta play around with it a lot after all. Oh, it's not right here though. Okay, we got freaking pipe full of plants. That one was in my Mario Maker stuff. Ah, oh, damn it, my freaking charger unplugged. Hold up. That's the one that kind of reminds me of Flappy Bird. This one's a lot harder in my Mario Maker version because you just start with a mushroom, so that's one thing. Doo -doo -doo. Even then, it's pretty hard to avoid these guys. Bro! Bro, this is absurd. It's insane. Bro, I'm getting, like, destroyed out here. Okay, got him. Okay, well, it's a lot more manageable with this Tanuki suit here, but it's still... absolutely insane. Even in this game, where the jump height is higher than in Mario Maker, it's still pretty crazy, honestly. I feel like you can get make much higher jumps in this game, anyway. I don't, I don't know. I gotta start- Oh my god. No! Bro, getting those coins is gonna be absolute bastardry to. Screw the Tanuki suit. I just wanna get out of here with my freaking face alive. Yeah, you can kinda damage boost it. Just like in Mario Maker 2 version I made. so dark. Yeah. Gosh. This might be how it is today. I don't know. Also, no roulette blocks in Mario Maker, unfortunately. So, couldn't do that. But hey, that might be helpful. Also, those types of mini piranha guys aren't in the game, so I just used munchers. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I see now. Bro, you freaking need a power-up to get up there, I think. Or Luigi, I, I don't know. Maybe if I go at the, their full speed. Oh, guys, okay, it's there. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Bro. Crazy. Crazy. 
Okay, it's Luigi time. Swinging bars of doom. That's an yet another that was adopted for Mario Maker on my Mario Maker world. Um, forget what I used for that. Might have just been a spiny. For the most part, it was pretty faithful since there wasn't that many elements that. Oh yeah, other than the thwimps. I used, like, a flying muncher on tracks or something for that one. Just saying, the wimps should absolutely be a Mario Maker. Because they're funny. And cute. Damn it. Okay, whatever. Honestly, I'm gonna go with it. Do, 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 do. I'm too engrossed in the experience to be bothered by it. Why aren't those sparks? Why aren't the sparks the pie heads in Mario Maker? They're cute. Also, that's more of a secret since it's hidden by the camera. But in Mario Maker version. Of course, you can clearly see it, because, you know, there's no camera restriction. Also, I couldn't do double fire bars, but... Um... I still just put it... I just put two fire bars together. I kind of wish you could just overlap them, so you could just do that, because that's kind of cool. Oh yeah, I forgot to read the level descriptions again. Um, hold up. Um, hold up. Just gotta get the level description thing up. Pipe full of plants. Difficulty level 4. Duck, leap, and run to avoid the hot-tempered piranha plants. I wonder how far Mario will be able to come. If he stops to rest, he'll be piranha right away. Swinging bars of dune. Run past, fast to get past the swamps, fire bars, and boots. Just you wait and see. If you lose focus for even a short time, you'll be burned to a crisp. I like both. They have good elements in their descriptions. They're fun. Oh gosh. They're kind of hard to avoid. Bro. How? A very small margin of error there. Or margin of victory, I mean. Oh, that's nice. I kind of wish the Mario Maker World thing let you carry up parry power-ups between levels to make it feel more like a full world, world considering like the level progression stuff. But I mean, it's still pretty cool that you can do them. I just wish they were implemented like more like better, I guess. The lives are cool to have at least. Wow, those boos are spoopy. Oh gosh. Okay, I am pretty sure the boss is a flying boom boom. Or 
are two boom booms actually. Yeah, two boom booms. Do, 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 do. And one of them flies. I'm pretty sure. Do, 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 do. Yep. I remember this pretty well. Damn it. Da 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 da. Oh my god, I'm freaking losing the boom booms. Ah. His movement can be kind of tricky sometimes. Okay, we got him. Parabeetle challenge. That's that's the one I didn't get to do. I think there's too much verticality. Slash horizontalness. Or maybe there wasn't. I don't know. You can't jump on the note blocks like always. That's what he says about it. Yeah. Damn it. Okay, this is gonna be challenging. Oh my god, yeah, I think the level just went up too high. So I didn't really want to attempt it because I didn't want to make it too small or something. But you know, maybe I can make this one after having played it. I would just have to shrink it down a bit. Perhaps. No! Okay, damn it. This is hard. No, wait. Ah, shoot. Okay, whatever. Frick! Oh my god, these freaking buzzies. I mean, parabeetles. Bro. This level's kind of, kind of hard, actually. What's the difficulty rating on this one? Three stars? I don't know if I would agree, especially getting those coins. Bro, just, ah, got, got skill issue. Skill issue, apparently.
Oh my god, this is stressful. Oh my god, stop! Nope. Bro. They go way fast. Yeah, honestly, I could do this in Mario Maker. It doesn't seem really that impossible. Though, actually, some of the buzzies go, um, in an opposite direction. In a different direction, and you can't really set which direction the enemies are facing. They kind of just go wherever Mario is. A musical trick. This is one that I did in, the uh, SMM2. It was pretty much faithful, other than the fact I couldn't get one area to scroll because sub-area limitations. Screw it, I'm going back to 1-1 one, one again. Anyway. Oh. Aha, just... Let's -a go! I knew about that. No super jumpy blocks in Mario Maker 2, so... Just did a blind there, and I took off the scrolling because the second sub-area in this level didn't have scrolling, so I couldn't really do that. But, other than that, it was pretty much perfect. It feels funner. The no blocks are just funner in this game than Mario Maker. I'm just, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Bro, they have two of them here. No! D Damn it! Okay, whatever. Fine. I'll just go back to this level. Ah! I hate you, Mario. I hate you. Just perish. Oh! Power Beetles suck in this level, specifically. Bro, it's so easy to miscalculate the jump because of how freaking fast does it go. Simply miscalculate it. Okay, there.
do 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 Bro, oh, Luigi goes here with me. Oh, the little coins you find go in this little castle. That's pretty cool. I guess I'll have to find them later. It goes against what I stand for with this game specifically. Pretty obvious secret, I gotta say. I mean, there's a huge gap there. Do, 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 Okay, um, come on. Go faster. Hey, that's not a bad idea. fly up there if you miss it. Bro, are you kidding me? Okay. I forgot the safe state. Again. Okay. It's fine. I'm gonna put the game a little lower. Okay. I remember the gotcha sound effect a lot in freaking like Mario 64 DS because of the freaking Parker Casino minigame. He's just like, gotcha when you get like good cards. Freaking Luigi Poker. That was so fun to play with. Even if I'm not great at poker. Oh yeah, if they freaking brought back that game, they wouldn't be able to bring back Luigi Poker because of freaking Europe and their anti-gambling crap in video games. Even though it's all this fake money. I would be devastated if Luigi Poker Casino mini games couldn't come back. That was a special part of Mario 64 DS.
I hate everything. Wait. I saved at a good spot, I think. Nothing I really missed other than some platforming. Bro, you know what? It doesn't matter what it is. This level's annoying in a matter of freaking what game you play. Mario Maker or not Mario Maker. Damn it, I hate note blocks. I mean, I can time them better than other people, but I still don't really like them, necessarily, if they're used so extensively in a level. I don't know, they're just kind of annoying. Oh yeah, it is really cool. Hey there, Nene, how you doing? I, I gotta shrink the chat box a little bit. There. Yeah, it's on the Wii U Virtual Console if you have a Wii U and like would like to try it out. So... There's that. It's pretty fun. It's Mario 3 like you know and love with a lot of new stuff thrown in there to make it fun. It's just this level specifically that I don't really like. But other than that... I mean, they got a lot of good levels packed in there. I know, I just like informing my viewers of where to find the things. Because sometimes video games can be hard to find. Okay, um... Go Luigi. Okay, finally beat this. Bruh, even his raccoon float is like kind of floatier than Mario's. Yeah, it was pretty difficult. Okay, I'm gonna play as Mario again. We got Armored Airship. That was another one I brought over to- Actually, if you would like to play these specific levels, or at least a good chunk of them, and you own Mario Maker 2, I remade most of these in Mario Maker 2, so they're not exact 100 one. I mean one to one recreations because of Mario Maker 2's limitations, but I did my best. So I recommend you check them out if you think these levels look fun, because I wanted to bring them back to life in a different way. Because, like, I know not everyone's going to be able to play them if they're stuck on the Game Boy Advance slash Wii U Virtual Console. With no really other means of modern accessibility. It's sad. Okay. This level's moderately difficult, from what I remember. Oh. It's actually kind of hard to get that. Wait. Eeh. There. I'm glad they got the palette right with this version of Mario 3, like, the, the colors aren't too bright like the other Mario Advance games. This one's pretty much perfect. In both gameplay, not, like, having too much screen crunch. Like, just a good version of Mario 3. Ah, damn it. Okay, um... Bro, oh, the rotating of that thing.
Yeah, for the most part, my Mario level maker level for this one is pretty much the same level, other than not having those bolt lift things that like rotate around. At best, I had the level decorations which look like them, but they just don't functionally. They're not functionally the same. Wait, what? How are you supposed to get that? I don't understand. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, 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 okay. There. Bro, who's gonna know that on their first playthrough of this level? That's, that's sneaky, man. Hidden off the camera. It's not quite as hidden because mm, the zoomed out camera. But yeah, in the other version. Okay, we're gonna fight a Koopling, I think. I forget though, it's been a while since I played the out. That one's easy enough, I think. Okay. Got all the coins. Oh yeah, Lemmy. He's one of the easiest ones. Da 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 dun da 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 dun That was a fun level, I like that one. Feels like a classic Mario 3 airship with some extra collectibles. The collectibles make them even funner, honestly. Oh, what's this? Oh, more minigames. Oh my god, bro, they got like Yoshi's Island, like, freaking trajectory stuff over here, with the same sound effects, too. It's the same sound as the GBA Yoshi's Island. Oh no, I wanted that. Okay, okay, okay. Bro, this is kind of fun. Okay, so it goes slower each time, that's the thing. This mini game is kind of hard. I'll give him that. There we go. Got him. Um, just what I needed. Um, maybe? I mean, I'll have to see what he gives me. Oh, a hammer suit! Okay, I'm down. And it's a different level layout, too. That makes it fun. Dun 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 Damn, this is kind of, kind of tough. Okay, wait. I think I have a good idea. There. The underground music being used in a mini game like this reminds me of the freaking Mario. Wait, can I not hold the balloon for that long? What? Why am I dying? Wait, there's a time limit? Oh my gosh. No, that's not fair to poor Luigi. Is there any way for me to win? Bro, screw you, Toad. Bro. Why would I want to play for that? You know what? I sleep. <laughs> no.
Yeah, no, his prizes aren't good anymore. I hate him. Screw you, Toad. Oh, frog suit. I mean, that kind of works. Wait, only 20 seconds? I have, like, no time to think about it. Bro, these are so hard. Bro. Bro. Okay, this game's rigged. You have, like, no time to beat it. It takes a long time to hit it. I liked it at first, because it's kind of a neat idea, but, like... Why so little time? Why is there a time limit? Okay. You know what? What? Wait, damn it. I skipped too far. I didn't know they had the freaking cape. I mean, I know it's in one of the levels, but... I didn't know you could get it through a toad house. That's pretty neat. Okay, that works. That's, that's fine, I guess. At least they give me time for this one. Except, you still kind of suck at it. Da -da 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 -da. Dun, 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 dun. There. I don't know why I'm playing this mini game so much. They kind of got me. I want a cape. Damn, I'm down by like three seconds here, but this one seems easy enough. Are we even gonna use all these? I don't know. Bro. Okay, I'm, I'm done with this after this. Unless they give me a hammer suit again. Unless they give me another hammer suit, count me out. Damn it! Okay, well. Whatever. This cape feather is too good for this world. It's like easily the rarest item along with this hammer suit. Imagine playing this on GBA. You'd have like no chance to get it. Like even if you got the mini game, you wouldn't be able to retry again because. Like, it wouldn't show up that much. How are you supposed to know what to do? There's just some stuff that just seems impossible to practice for. Bro, this one sucks. How are you supposed to get it up there? Bro, that was, like, calculated. Okay. Boom. Okay, now I just need one more swift blow to get to it. No! Wait, I won too. Bro, I actually almost had it over here. There. 
Okay, my gambling addiction days are over. Unless... No. I'm good. Thank you. I'm good, actually. I'm fine. Unless you give me a feather, I don't care. Yeah. I'm good. Thank you, Tower. Okay. Time for... Ice Dungeon. Definitely an interesting one. I did that one in Mario Maker. Now there's a neat little secret. I'm gonna need this shell, that's all I know. Damn, he died. Well, at least they respawn in this version. Okay, okay, okay. Out of the way, Goombas. Okay, whatever. Wait, no! How am I supposed to get the cool secret if I don't have a raccoon leaf? Oh. That answered my question. Okay, so there's a seat. Okay, screw you too. Okay, so there's a cool secret in this level. And you can get it by doing this. Despawned. Wait, actually. Huh. Oh, wait, I remember now. Actually, I know what to do. Just, just let it go. Okay, wait, here. And then you just let it hit you. Is what I would say, but it freaking... Okay, that works for me. Maybe that's why they have that there. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um... Okay. No, that wasn't the way. Some outtakes over here. That's okay, I needed you to get rid of my power anyway. Bro! Seriously. Aren't there springs for Mario? Well, bro. This wouldn't be happening in Mario Maker, I'm just saying. Some things Mario Maker read right, other things not so much. Okay. Why doesn't it come back? Okay, I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Bro! Bro thinks he can out-screen me. Off-screen me here. Well, whatever. That's probably what you were supposed to do. Or how you were supposed to do it, I mean. Um, 
That's fine. Secrets are pretty cool, I gotta say. No, we need kind of the goat in this playthrough, not gonna lie. Luigi is the goat! Oh yeah, there's another hard to get secret too, I think. Well, at least the stars keep spawning if you're fast enough. Because, you know, logic. Luigi is the GOAT! Nice! Got him. Found all the secrets. I have a good memory of this level. Sky Adventure. That's not one I did for Mario Maker 2. Okay, let's see what it's like. I don't really know this one. It's probably too vertical, judging by the name. Oh yeah, this is the one with a lot of doors, I think. Like, way too many doors. And also, too many different level themes, I think, too. But, this does seem pretty cool. Bro, this is so cool. I mean, perhaps if I shrunk down this tower thing, it could, I could make it work. But I would have to scale down the level, like, massively. Wait, what? Huh? Why is there an invisible floor? Bro, this is... Weird. Bro? Bro? Who did this? Well, whatever. Let's check that one out later. Or now. Wait, what's this? Oh, I see. They want me to use the P-switch. Wait, this is like a frickin... Dotted line block for Mario World. And it makes the same music, too. Okay, what did that do? What is that for? And why? Oh, I see. Kind of.
Bro, oh, this is a full on puzzle level. I think I kind of get what they want me to do. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I can enter the door in midair. That's something you can't do in Mario Maker. No dotted line blocks, but maybe on and off switch could work for that. Wow, this is a really neat level. Gotta say, it's really solid. This is definitely one of the best ones. It feels distinct from Mario 3, but also pretty cool. Like, Mario 3 on NES, I don't know if it could have done such, like, interesting level design, I guess. Not that Mario 3 didn't have interesting level design, but this is, like, a little more complicated. I, I gotta say. Imagine someone tried to frickin' port World E to NES. That'd be kinda cool. Like a ROM hack type thing. Oh, there's another door here. Yeah, I don't know if I could do this level justice. I mean, that's freaking invisible floors. That's absurd. Bro, how? How? Meh, whatever. Hey, there's a... Hey! Okay, there's a tanuki in here. Also, they didn't add tanuki to Mario Maker, so I'm sad. At least I don't think they did. Man, this game just makes me salty about Mario Maker 2. I mean, Mario 3 is at least like a regular Mario game, like, with a bunch of moving parts. That I kind of get, but like, look at all the creative stuff they have here. It's also because I'm, you know, biased, because I made levels for it, but like... Oh, I get it now, you need the freaking Tanuki to break those. I, I kind of figured you might need it, but I wasn't actually sure. I mean, there's even more doors here. Bro, this level is huge. Oh wait, no, never mind. This is the same ones from before. Wait, what the hell? Okay, that's actually so cool. You turn into this stone and it reveals hidden blocks. That's kind of crazy. I gotta tell CF about this one. Wow. That's really neat. I've never seen a Mario level like this. Other than, like, stuff where people get really creative and out there in Mario Maker or something. Okay, that was fun. I'm gonna go now. Okay, um... Oh yeah, I forgot to read more descriptions. Okay, armored airship. 
With my price spinning nuts, Mario will be on his hands and knees on the ground. Bruh. Wahaha, if you don't watch your surrounding chair plays as you go forward, you'll soon fall. Ice Dungeon. A Sky High Adventure. It's too early to celebrate just because you turn into Tokyo, Mario. True. Okay, next one's called Sea to Sky, which, again, was too vertical for me to do. Plus, probably other things. But, let's see what it's like. Oh yeah, It's a shoe in is another one of my favorites, though. That is one I j was able to do in Mario Maker. Mario Maker this. Mario Maker that. When is this guy gonna stop I'm out M Mario talking about Mario Maker? Is probably what somebody in the that's viewing this is thinking. But, hey, I mean, I'm really passionate about Mario Maker. I like that game. Bro, they got a feather. How do I get it? Bro. No, 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 no. Damn it. I knew it. I knew it would be too far. Wait, can I just pick it? I can't pick it up. Okay. I'm gonna go so fast. Yeah. Yo, holy crap, Mario, Cape Luigi in Mario 3. This is raw. And we get 50 likes. Wait, it works off the power meter? Does it run out of power then? Maybe they nerfed it. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, this is basically a cape level. Pretty cool so far. I can see why it's called a Sea to Sky Adventure at least. Bro. Why aren't these blocks breaking? I've never seen a block that doesn't break that just looks like a regular block. I guess they don't want me to mess with their awesome level aesthetic here. Um, I guess I'll go in this pipe. I don't know where to go. Do 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 do. Oh crap, it's Lava Lotus. Apparently it can't deal with that guy, even though it can deal with its cousin, Volcano Lotus. Yeah, I can't even kill him. Box underwater. This isn't really a normal thing in Mario levels. Interesting. You only see, again, those kinds of things in Mario Maker 2, slash 1. So, interesting spin. I wonder if they inspired, like, creative elements of that game for this one. Honestly, most of my... 2D Mario experience comes from the SMM series, so... Like, me being actually good at it. The series, uh, 2D Mario. So, I don't know. I can accredit that game with a lot of things. It was really special to me. Made a bunch of cool remakes, old Mario levels. Played a lot of people's cool levels. Overall, good time.
this must be a huge level. Oh, they end up giving you like two of those anyway. Oh wow, um... Okay. Bro, I didn't mean to pick up the squished switch. Bro. This is pretty raw. Okay, I can't just break into that, apparently. Maybe there's another switch in there, I don't know. Well, I found like half the coins here. That was pretty cool. These levels hit hard, man. Um, I'm gonna close out Google Chrome. It's probably slowing down this a little bit. it saying radio coding overloaded what the heck it's just gba man it's just gba okay whatever i'll close out discord there it should be fine now i got a ping hold up It's a shoo-in. It's a shoo-in! That's the one that's really good. I know that much. I wonder how it plays in this... ...game. Compared to my Mario remake. Okay, no Goomba in the shoe. See, they know. They know you can. It, it's nicer if there's just a shoeless Goomba. Like, I don't like the fact that they freaking. You can't. You can only set the enemy Goomba. Like, has a chance of hitting you. That's annoying. Why can't you just have the, the, the shoe out? Okay. It's really fun in this version, just like the other level. Arguably more fun here. Man, why did I bother? I can't match the fun of Mario Advance 4. But, I mean, they were still pretty cool. Even if the levels aren't quite to the same level, I mean, at least people get to experience them in some form. I wonder if this next part is as hard here as it was in my level. Probably not. Yeah, the thwa- Sweet. What? Okay, so in this one, you just kill the swamp with the shoe. Instead of using the- As platforms. So, that's another difference. Didn't know about that. Now, honestly, maybe I should have rearranged my level a bit. If you can freaking use the- They act- They actively, like, hurt you, too. Hmm. 
Well, yeah, there's still ways to lose the shoe in this level, so... I just feel like it's a lot easier to lose a shoe in my level than in this one. That part is so much easier. In general, it's so much easier. Wait, no, no, no. I draw the line there. You can get rid of my shoe. A temporary level gimmick. But you can't get rid of Tanuki Mario. Keep getting hit. Okay, whatever. Made it through a lot of the levels already. Oh yeah, I forgot to read the little description things. Eh, honestly. Okay, I'll, I'll open Chrome again. Just to get these little level cards out. See the sky. If you can't transform your well, you aren't going to be able to drag yourself to the goal. It's a shoe-in. Gotta make sure Mario doesn't find the Goomba shoe hidden over there. Bruh. It's like right in the middle of the level. What do you mean? Oh god, slip sliding away. Well, let's see how it plays here. Maybe it's better. I mean, for one thing, it has bumpies instead of... What did I use? I think I, I put a... Instead of bunties, I just had a fr freaking bunch of bumpers everywhere, which I realize, yeah, that's kind of really annoying, but it's the only thing I can really think of. So, I mean, functionally, they act pretty similar. They bump you around, except, you know, you... For the flying hammer bro, of course, I just put sledge bro on a flying block thing, like, I mean, yeah, that seems close enough. Though he jumps off of it, so that's intrusive. The only reason I really went through with the level 2 was because they added the freaking ice blocks. Because I was like, you know what, why not? It's relevant to the update. Oh, wait, I forgot you need a freaking stupid Koopa. Can I just jump on this guy? Luigi jumps too high to let me do that. Okay. There. That was pretty neat. Ah! Ah! No! Okay, screw you.
Setting myself back here. Yeah, my my level definitely pales in comparison to this. And that jump is much harder to make. The level is actually fun here, as I would expect. It just didn't translate well. Unfortunately. But hey, you can play a much harder version of it if you want. Oh yeah, um... Okay, uh, yeah. Wait, why would I want that? Well, maybe it's helpful. Oh yeah, this part is like so hard in my Mario level. I forget what I even did. Almost feels like a completely different level than the one I did. Oh yeah, I forgot there was like a scrolling part here. Kinda neat. I'm sorry, slip sliding away. I ruined you. here, or in, like, necessary, but it's cool. Ice cube. I think that was another one I did. Actually, did I do this one? No, I don't remember it. Forget the reason why. Okay. That's fine.
supposedly pipe maze, there was definitely another one that was just skipped. Oh yeah. What's the description? Also, slip sliding away. You run, you won't be able to stop quickly. I wonder if you can reliably stand on a platform. Okay, ice cubed. You'll be in trouble if you don't take the world of ice seriously. Can you escape from here? Well, I guess I can traverse this world of ice you got right here. Oh wait, maybe this was one I did in Mario Maker. I don't, I don't know. Doesn't ring a bell right now. Oh wait, yeah, I think I do remember. Bro, why is there two power-ups? Oh yeah, yeah, I did this one. There was another one I did with the Ice Cube update. Funny how we have two levels based on Ice Cubes, one after another. Though, you can't put enemies in them. That'd be cool. I think my level was pretty close to this one. Not nearly as much of it. Really, the slip slide in away one was the only one that actually, like, strayed from the actual level I was doing. Or supposed to be doing. Because it just felt too different without the flighty blocks. Also, this level confuses me. What am I doing right now? Oh, wait, I see. I see now. Secret. Oh yeah, no. No frickin' Mario 2 grass. Hey! No. No. should work out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um... What am I supposed to do here? This certainly won't put a dent in them. Does the P-Switch do anything? Crap. Can I get back over there? I can. Um, well, I'm guessing I'll just leave here for now. If I can. Okay, good. It's not a one-way pipe. Pretty close to how I did it. These guys go hard. Luigi. Puzzling pipe maze. This is another new one. Let's see what it's about. 
on puzzling pipe maze. A new block invented by my brilliant self. It can't be broken easily. Bro, how did Roy Copa, of all people, invent this block? I thought he was supposed to be the dumb one. Wait, you mean the grab blocks? You didn't invent those. Those were in levels before you, you were even born, bruh. No, I'm just kidding. I feel like doing the slide is a lot harder. On this controller. Like, it just doesn't read the inputs well. What? Can I, like, not transition from going down to... Okay, there. I was gonna say... That's weird. Can I throw them up? No, I can't. Mm -hmm. There's no grabbing blocks, so... Yeah, this level's a little bit too unique for Mario Maker 2. Oh, a hammer suit. Can it break those blocks? Oh, wait, you mean the stone blocks. That's the one you invented. I see what he means now. Finally, I get to use Hammer Luigi. It's almost like Builder Mario in SMM2. supposed to beat the level. Okay, I don't know what they want me to do.
Yeah, I'm gonna just say screw it and leave this one. Screw 100%. It's too puzzling for me. Oh, Towering Tour? That one is next level difficult. Three stars. This one has three stars. At least in my Mario Maker version, it's pretty hard. Try coming to check what's at the bottom of the tower, he says. So far, so good. Seems a lot easier. I feel like it's partially because of the Cooper being slower. Oh yeah, you know what? The only reason it's really hard is because there's no screen wrap, I probably. But I don't know. Or maybe just because the jumping isn't as high. The controls are just different. I feel like you can only get that with Luigi. Moderately challenging level, but nothing crazy. I didn't know that was a coin block, I think. Okay, that's fine.
Also, after this level, I'm just gonna be right back. That's pretty cool. Pretty good level. Nice. Okay, next up is Richard's Ropes, but um, we're gonna be right back. So, yeah. Be right back, everyone.
Plugged my mic, so, um, you couldn't hear me. Anyway, the level description must crush any of your stops once. Okay, let's get to it. Definitely a lot harder in Mario Maker. But still a fun level here. Wait, what? Okay, I guess that's inevitable there. Now the jump height is much higher, so I have to adjust it. For this level, specifically. Wait, you just freaking go into a walkway and it just transports you to the next part of the level. I'd say other than the springs with this part, it's pretty much the same level. There's an even lower time limit, I might add. Huh. Jeez. Wait, bro, it actually is just as hard as my level. Roughly. Wait. How? Bro, they really only give you a whole minute. And you lose your coins if you lose the level. Well, it did say crush idiots who stomp, so I'm guessing if you stop, that'll, that'll just ruin the whole level. No stopping. At all. Even if you really want the coins, it's just not worth it. The only coins that are worth it are these coins. Bro. Bro, we're out here speedrunning now. I have to stop to get around the booze, I'm sorry. I know that's counterintuitive to the level, but... Okay, it took me, like, that long to beat that part of the level alone. You know, maybe this level would be a lot faster if I didn't get this coin. Just saying. Just a, a quick thought, really. No, I'm doing a lot better already. Ah, damn it.
How do I have these save states still? Did I really make new Mario Maker levels in 2021? I thought at best I stopped in 2020. I don't remember any of this. I don't remember the other save states. Bro, these spikes are just as brutal. Ah, uh, mamma mia. So many layers of safe states right now to be this. <laughs> Bro, this level is brutal. I want the one up though. Yeah, we're out here, boys. Huh. <laughs> Bro, I'm crying. Please tell me I have enough time. I want the one up too. Give me the one up. Yes. Okay. Oh my god. That level's horrible. That was awful. Terrible, even. You have like one extra second to spare. Which was rope? This one's easy. Let me just turn down the brightness again. It's way too bright. Honestly, that's fine. That works. I can sit back down too, um, hold up. <laughs> Just needed a second to stretch, really. <laughs> That looked pretty good, actually. Pretty well lit. There we go. Maybe like a different like shade, but otherwise, that's pretty good. Oh, we got Wigglers. Oh, wow. Not even the power of the... Tanuki can kill it. Not even the tail. Not even the statue. Pretty fearsome predators here. 
And Mario Maker, you can just kill them. Why did they put so much effort into all these levels that nobody would even get to play? Is my question. I know they wanted to sell freaking cards for their freaking e-reader thing, but really, was it worth it? That's my question. They lost so much money outside outside of Japan on all this crap that they didn't even like. They could have just left it in the game. If this was like Skylanders or something, yeah, they would make a lot of money, but. Such kinds of things weren't really successful back then. Like, cards? You needed a peripheral for that. That was purchased separately. Like, nobody was gonna buy this. In 2003. They were ahead of their time. Our e-reader cards were basically the original Amiibo. Also, you need, like, one car just to get one level, which is pretty crazy. Oh yeah, I forgot ropes are here. The ropes are pretty cool, but honestly, I kind of like the vibe my level gives off, where it's just, like, a bunch of vegetation everywhere. They're rich with vines. It gives the level a different feel. My question is, what can you do to hoopsters? They actually crawl a lot slower than I thought. Okay, well you can do that. Yeah, this is like one of the easiest ones. What was the description for this? I didn't even read it. Oh yeah, it's rated two stars. It's hard to find what you're looking for when you're traveling along ropes. Do your best. Did I do falling platforms for this? Uh, I might have just misunderstood what those were in Mario Maker. Because I'm pretty sure such platforms were in Mario World and they fell when you jumped on them, so... If anything, I made it at least a little bit more challenging. If nothing else. Not by much, but... It gives the level an interesting dynamic. Also, climbing on these things is much faster than climbing on the breaking mines in the Mario Maker game. Bro. Wait, no, uh... Perfectly cut screams. Oh! This one's decently fun. Not one of the most exciting of the levels here, but it feels fresh. And different from regular Mario 3 levels, so it's appreciated still. There's a lot of variety in this package of levels. They all stand out and feel pretty distinct and memorable.
Bro, that one is so easy to find. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, you can jump on it, like in Mario 2. Why are Wigglers even here? Why is there a Galoomba just random here? Like, why? It's cool, but why? Are Galoombas used in any other level in this freaking game? Bro, why is there a compare? They just put that there because, like, just, just, why not? Like, they don't even serve a purpose in any of these levels. Okay, what's this one? What's this one? Dodge the spikes and fly on up. Only 30 coins per game. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's kind of cool. Dang, I have to sacrifice my current... Wait, this is just balloon fight. Dun, 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 Dun da da dun da da dun da 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 dun da da dun da 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 Bro What do you get for getting the top? Dun da 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 Dun da da dun da da dun da 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 dun da da dun da da dun da da Bro these sparks suck why would I want to play this ever? Maxing doors, that's one. That is also not in Mario Maker 2 version of my levels. Of these levels that I made. Let's see what it's like. The problem with this one was there was just too many doors. Bro, this is basically a Mario World Ghost House. I mean... It just is. Okay. Oh yeah, what does the card have to say about this? The booze will kindly play with you pl plenty in my stead. I don't really need a power-up for this one. It's more about being tricky than being platformy. Okay, I say as I die immediately. I mean, this room is kind of unnecessary, it's just a power-up. So maybe I can just cut that one if I ever wanted to make this. So there's one set of doors so far. I 
I wish they had the hidden P-switch door thing, but they don't. Screw you, man. Screw you! Okay. Damn it. Whatever. Okay, okay. I'm mad. I'm angry right now. It's fine, though. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. Oh, wait. I know what to do now. You need this to do that. Vexing doors. <laughs> you need the spring to get up there. This boo can screw off, though. Luigi in this level just fits. Many hidden blocks. Okay, that works out. Damn it. Is this Kaijo Mario? Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Crap. Um, here. Making a path. This level would be pretty cool in Mario Maker. Bro, I probably have to fight a freaking boss ghost. What am I doing here? Lovell doesn't want me to waste any time. Even though it's like having me run around doing a bunch of crap.
Um, it's not very bright right now, sorry. I just wish the light wasn't in my eye all the time. Hold up. This level better be almost over, cause I'm about to freaking die. Get a freaking time limit, which I can't do anything about. Sorry, the game just made me spend like way too freaking long trying to figure out the puzzles. It'd be better if it had no time limit. Oh well, we'll just skip it. It was fun though. Okay, cape to escape. That's one I know. Okay, um, if you don't fly higher and higher, you won't be able to enjoy this level. Well, I mean that's true. Oh, these are falling platform things. Like, bro, those are basically the ones from Super Mario Brothers 1. Bro, they even got the Mario 1 ponies. This is a Super Mario 1 level, kind of. Definitely a lot simpler than something you would see in Mario 3. Well, it wants me to go up there, so... Huh. Can we get much higher, higher, so high up? Whoa. Groundwork. That's not one I know about. The ultra, ultra world of SMM2. So, let's try it. Oh, 
Okay, that's definitely interesting. Um, what do I do now? Go on a pipe? Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Maybe, no. Huh? Okay. Well, there's sand. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of vegetables in this one. That's probably why I didn't do it. That's mildly annoying, really. I mean, power-ups aren't, like, super necessary in this level, but, like, these Buster Beetle guys are actually annoying. I hate them. Okay, you know what? Screw off. Bro, these enemies suck. Okay, whatever. Aha, just what I needed. Um. Yeah, I don't I don't even care. I don't care for this one. Kind of Oh, bro, this is just like those parts in Mario 2. Except you can jump on those enemies, so there's less sense of danger. You're not just defense- Bro, they even got Porcupo here! They didn't even need to, I mean, it's the same thing as a Spiny, but hey, it's Porcupo. Okay, um, crap. Sonic, how do I avoid you? He actually looks a lot like Sonic in this version. I don't know why they decided that he should look like Sonic, but... I mean... I don't know, that's pretty cool, I guess. You know, it'd really be nice... You know what? Screw this level. <laughs> it'd really be nice if there was checkpoints. Acrius Adventure. That's one. That is in, again, the Ultra World of... The Ultra Mario World of... SMM 2. Slash Maker 2. It definitely had enough elements to work with to do, so... I want it to be a little bit different, though. Let's use a frog suit. Bro, this is so sick. His swimming capability is almost too good for this. No. Damn it! I hate that thing.
Bro, the frog suit makes this level like 20 times funner. Otherwise, it feels pretty sluggish. One up? No. What time is it anyway? Oh, only 3.11. I still have at least like 30 minutes. Tomorrow can be a shorter worldy stream if not, so. Keep it for the funny, damn it. Damn you, okay. Frick. Let Mario just be f alive. I should probably save stay here. No! Ah, you frick. Okay. Perish immediately. My eyes are itching right now. My fault. Maker too, I was able to recreate such pipes by putting the little twister and enemy thing on top of them. It's a cool effect, honestly. what we can do in like 25 minutes. Wait, why does it say... Oh wait, never mind. Oh, there's the last stand. Mini stream for Worldly tomorrow, and then... I don't even care anymore, honestly. And then, um, frickin' whatchamacallit. Mario versus Super Mario Brothers, and then I'll play some Super Mario 64. I'll see what I can squeeze out of that day. Bowser's last stand. I don't think I remember this one. Maybe it's a castle? Airship? I don't know. Oh yeah, this is... 
One I'm not familiar with. Holy crap. Doot doot. I think I attempted to make this one at one point, but I just realized it was just too big, so. Yeah, definitely ring the bell now. Bro, you suck. Hold up. Oh, that's pretty cool. Awesome. I'm about to wrap this up soon, but that's pretty cool you're at a cafe. I hang out at a, like, Starbucks and stuff like that sometimes, too. Though, you probably can't really hear that I'm saying that anyway. Trying to wrap up the levels here. This is pretty perilous. Oh crap, they even got magic over here. It's a wizard hyper. Frick, okay. I'm just gonna gun it. Screw magic. Screw this magic Koopa. Ah. Oh. I feel like most of this is possible within Mario Maker, just the level is too big. Most of the basics, anyway. Oh, 
Whatever. Bro, what the heck? Yeah, darn it. This is definitely a Mario Maker type of beat level design right here. No actual Mario game would have you have to wait for a magic wizard to freaking make holes in the floor. They, 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 they predicted Mario Maker with this game. There's a lot of comparisons to be made here. I mean, enemies in Mario 3 style that are not supposed to be here. Wacky level design elements. Unconventional types of levels. Oh crap, I needed that. True, it is just what you needed. Okay, whatever. YOLO! Yeah. I knew that would happen, but I wanted to keep going anyway. Wait, just let it fall into the lava. Yeah, whatever. This level's crazy, man. Oh, I'm at the end. I was there. This is much more difficult than Mario 3's actual final level. Honestly, Dark Land wasn't even that bad. No, oh, it's like another fight against final fight thing. But it, it isn't that much different other than there's more blocks. You know what? Why don't we just end the stream here? I peach. If it would make sense anyway. I mean, it came this far. I might as well beat him, but it's just kind of annoying. Also, this version of the song kind of sounds bad, I'm sorry. That's definitely where Bowser's Smash Down B came from. I just wish he shot fireballs as a default in Smash. The only game where he does continuous fire breath is like Mario 64. Every other game he just shoots them in bursts like this. Got him. Actually, it's a little too bright right now. Got him. <laughs> Bruh. What is wrong with me? No. You are going this way. Da, da, da. 
Okay, next stream we got Koopaling Confusion, Bowser's Airship 1, Bowser's Airship 2, Airship's Revenge, No Time to Dawdle, and Treacherous Holes. I did all of these in Mario Maker 2, actually, I think. Other than Koopaling Confusion, maybe? I don't remember. Okay, so it'll be Mario, Luigi, Mario, Luigi, Mario, Luigi. It'll end with Luigi. I mean, he is kind of the goat of this stream. Okay, well, um... It was kind of a long stream, but it was a lot of fun. We got most of World E knocked out of the park. So, on the next stream, I'm going to be doing... Um... Versus Super Mario Brothers, and a little bit of Super Mario... Like... Like, the start of Super Mario 64. So, anyway, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, feel free to follow and check out my Discord server. Link is on the Twitch, my Twitch channel sidebar thing. And I have a YouTube channel where all my streams get saved and posted to. Same channel name. I got a ton of Mario games, Sonic games, Splatoon, Kingdom Hearts. Castlevania, and Kermy. So, if that sounds interesting, feel free to check it out. Anyway, have, have yourselves a good one, and take care.